Disclaimer, I own all the rights to all these files. I'm just simply using them for demonstration purposes and transmission. Okay, let's get started. Transmission. Transmission is the best torrent downloading client for Mac. I'm going to be going over the basics for it. But before we, you know, get into the application itself, let me just explain how torrents work. There's basically three categories of, you know, people, whatever. There's seeders, leechers, and assholes. Seeders are people who have the entire file already downloaded and they're basically uploading it to, to everyone that's downloading. Then there's the leechers who are downloading the file, but they're also uploading, you know, what they have to other people. So, yeah. Then there's uh, assholes, and these are people who are just downloading, but don't give back at all. They're just downloading. Their upload is severely limited. And I do understand their internet service provider can be gay, but generally most of them are assholes. So, all right, when you're on the internet and you download a torrent file, um, basically what you wanna make sure first is that transmission is your default. So right click the torrent file, get info, and then have it so it opens with transmission every time. So make sure it's your default. So after that, you know, just double click it and you'll be prompted with this window. From this window, you can do multiple things. You can select which files you want to download, which is great because in uTorrent, I think you have to download the entire torrent no matter what. But here you can, you know, look and see, pick and choose what you want to download. You can, let's say I only want this song. I can right click over here and click only check selected, which is great. And let's say I want two songs, right? Let's say I want these two. I can. Let's say I want this one more though. I can make the priority higher on that one, set the priority lower on this one. So I'm gonna get this song before I get this song. So I mean, these are just little things that are pretty cool that uTorrent can't really do. <laughs> um, you can also specify the download location. You can um, set the priority on this torrent. So if you're downloading multiple torrents, right? and you want this one before all the other torrents, you can set the priority on high and the majority of the bandwidth will go towards this torrent. Um, so yeah, you also set it on low too. Um, but that's basically all you need to know from this window. So I'm gonna click add and it's gonna start downloading right away, but I'm gonna pause it by clicking this button. But right now what it's doing is it's connecting the peers and it's gonna start downloading. But I just click pause by clicking that. Um, anyways, in transmission, there's several th you know things you can do. You can click this little icon down here. You can limit your bandwidth. You can limit your download and upload speeds. But you gotta make sure they're checked, otherwise they won't go into effect. Um, you can also set seeding limits, which means stop seeding at ratio 1.0. Now what this means is, let's say you're done downloading downloading a torrent, right? And you haven't uploaded to a 1.0 ratio. And what a 1.0 ratio means is, you know, let's say you downloaded a 100 megabyte file, right? A 1.0 ratio means you downloaded the 100 megabytes, but you've also uploaded the 100 megabytes. So, so if you finish downloading a a file before you upload it to a 1.0 ratio, it's going to continue to seed until you get to that 1.0 ratio if you use this. But of course, you can change it to what you want, or you can just have it seed forever. So just uncheck that, and it's basically, you're going to seed forever, or you can stop seeding when it's been inactive. So, anyways, I just leave it at 1.0 because I don't know. But there's also another cool feature in here that you should know about. If you go to preferences and go to bandwidth, there's this thing called speed limit mode, which means you can schedule it whenever, like every day, whatever. And you can have it so from uh, 9 p.m. to to 7 p.m. whatever, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. You know, it's gonna limit the download to 10 kilobytes and also limit the upload rate to 10 kilobytes. Um, 
So, I mean, like, people are probably using the internet during the day a lot, right? So you probably wouldn't want to limit your download. Um, but overnight, you may want to upload the max rate and download the max rate. So generally, this is a good idea to do. Um, but again, you can do whatever you want with the speed limit mode. I usually just leave it off because I don't really use it that often. But it's a great feature to know about. Um, you can also, once you're done downloading a torrent file, you can right click it. And uh, let's say you don't need the file anymore. Just remove data file and it's going to take it off completely from this window and it's going to go to your trash. Um, so that's good to know about. Also, there's this little icon next to here. And you can pretty much do the same th sort of stuff, you know, transfer priority, so yeah, 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 maximum connections. I mean, those generally don't need to change too much. Um, you can also create your own torrent files. Um, I'm not going to go over that unless you really want to know how to do that. Um, but once you're done downloading it, you can double click it, you can click on this, and double click again and it'll take you to that the file whatever but let's say in this window and how I got here was double clicking on the torrent whatever you can look at all the trackers and I'm not gonna really explain trackers too much you don't really need to know about that for the basics but you can see all the peers here that you're connected to of course there's it's not active so it's not showing any peers but it's gonna show you you know people who have the whole file or people who are leeching seeding whatever you have the it's gonna show you the percentage of what's done here um, it also has the same settings again that I got to from clicking this so I mean basically that's all you need to know about oh also up here it keeps track of your ratio that's pretty much it for transmission. That's all you need to know um, for the basics. This is the best downloading client. It's simple. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks.